Hi everyone, Melissa here coming on today with a haul, not too big of a haul, small haul. So I went to the Amazon discount store, I went to um, Dollar Tree and I did a little shopping at Hobby Lobby on their clearance sale. So starting off, I went to the, the discount store over at Amazon and I went on the dollar day. They didn't have much that day that was left over, but I was able to find um, these adhesive square packets. So I picked that up and I also found some little pouches. I went this past Saturday. What they do is they sneak some good items in there, some really good items. Like a couple people found um, some uh, Apple iPods and a mini iPad and they got those for eight bucks. I was just like, wow, my time is coming. But anyways, I was in there in there in all these bins just pushing things around and lo and behold, I lost a diamond in my ring. I was just like, oh my goodness. Believe it or not, I found that diamond too, but I rushed it right over to get get my ring um, fixed. So I'm happy that everything is covered. So I'm so excited about that. But anyways, let's jump into this Dollar Tree haul. I seen um, Miss Little Scrappy on her channel haul these um, adhe uh, little adhesive mats. They measure 4.5 by 6.5. I wanna say they're for that little small uh, Cricut Joy but I thought I could use them in, in my um, Misty because I don't have the Cricut Joy, but I've been wanting to get a small mat and I'd rather cut up a mat from Dollar Tree to fit in the inside of there instead of getting, you know, another mat and cutting it up. So I was so happy with that. I picked up four of those. I didn't think our Dollar Tree was gonna get those because we're always Johnny come lately. Uh, and when I say Johnny come lately, we usually get things about a year after everybody else gets theirs. Over to, what am I trying to say? Over to the um, Hobby Lobby sales. Um, I showed the dies and stuff the other day. They were just putting them out. I was so excited. I happened to have gone that day. Um, I, I still kept my composure, even though I was using birthday money. So I'm technically doing pretty good with the spending. Okay, so anyways, I picked up this beautiful stamp, and it is from Spellbinders, and I want to say it is um, Photo Palmer. Some of their sets aren't, but this one is, and I got it for $2.49. I think it's going to be really nice for a haul or for a fall or um, Christmas card, so I picked that up. And then I see these, never seen these before, but um, they are foam adhesive sheets, and I got what was left there. So I picked up three of them, but they have black and white in the inside. So that was a really good buy for $2.74, normally $10.99, and I was happy to get that. They also had Distress Oxide Inks on sale, and this is what normally when I pick up my Oxide Inks anyway, so I got one of each. And so I got these Shabby Shutters, $1.74, normally $6.99. And the same with this one, milk lavender, same price. Tattered rose. And this is dried marmalade, I think. Oh, dried marigold. Dried marigold. And this one is pumice stone. So I picked up those. Happy to get those. Add them to my stash. I did not have any of them, so I was so excited. And then I got these uh, mats i seen somebody else haul the mats and they were they're the silhouette mats normally 12.99 for 324. now it does say it fits the uh portrait and the cameo so i'm hoping that it fits the cameo 3 which is the cameo that i have i have the old cameo but you have to do a little extra to use that now so i just stick with my cameo 3 so i'm hoping that these mats fit they are eight by Eight, what is it? eight by 12, I think, is the size of these. I don't see it now, but it's, I think it's eight by 12. So I'm really hoping that these uh, fit in my silhouette machine. If anybody's used these in their normal silhouette machine, like Cameo 3 or something, let me know. So hopefully I can use those. And then now to the dies. Um, I was so excited to get out there. I went back the next day 
to catch some more markdowns because I, I was really hoping for the spellbinders. And there was a guy there that was just starting to mark down the spellbinders. And I think he got irritated with me because I was waiting. And uh, he left. <laughs> so I was only able to pick up this one, which is something that I had been wanting. And I thought about buying it on the 40% off sale um, this past week. And I was so happy to wait. And this was the last one, so I was able to pick that up. And then I also picked up this. I was only excited about this. Um, I like coffee uh, projects anyways. So I went ahead and picked it up. But still unsure whether I'm going to keep it, but I think I am. And then um, I had been wanting some some uh, um, alphabet steps that are about this size. These are two and a half inches, although they're really thin. But I'm still happy to have those. Normally thirty-four dollars. I was happy to get it at eight seventy-four. So that is all I picked up on this go round. I am going to go back out there tomorrow to see if. Um, the rest of the Spellbinder dies are marked down because that's what I really want. I just want a couple more from there. I'm still trying to watch what I spend, even though I spent some Chris, I mean, some of my birthday money there, but I'm still trying to be good. All right, that's all I have for you. Thanks so much, everyone. You all have a blessed and crafty day.